Hello everyone and welcome to Microwave Engineering. So today we are going to look at a transmission line that has been terminated. So looking at this diagram, we can see that this transmission line here has been terminated with certain load impedance. That is VL over here. But we remember that in the earlier videos, if we want voltage in space and time, we had it to be V plus A minus gamma X plus V minus E positive gamma x and we had the current to be of course in space and time to also be v plus a minus gamma x all on z naught minus v minus e positive gamma x all on z naught right so we are going to look at this transmission line at x equals zero so if x equals zero wherever we see x in these equations we are going to fix zero over there so we are going to look at this terminated transmission line at x equals zero so for the voltage at zero we are going to have v plus e minus gamma x but x we are saying that x is at zero so it's going to be zero over here plus v minus e positive gamma x but x is zero right so v zero is going to be v plus and this by computation is going to give us one plus v minus and also this at zero is also going to give us one so the voltage is going to be v zero will be equal to v plus plus v minus right so let's look at the current so i at zero we are going to have v plus e negative gamma x but x as i said is zero all over z naught minus v minus e positive gamma x but x is zero if you remember out of z naught so i as zero is going to be v plus and this by computation will give us one so we will have v plus out of z naught minus v minus this also by computation is going to give us one all over z naught so i can write this as v plus minus v minus all over z naught so for v we had this for i we had this but remember that v is equal to i z so from this we can say that v l that is the load impedance is going to be v at zero all over i at zero but remember for v zero we had v plus plus v minus all over so i zero for i zero we had this which is v plus minus v minus all over z naught so from this we can simplify it and say that we have v plus as v minus all over v plus minus v minus multiplying z naught because this will come up eventually so dividing through this equation by z naught we have v l out of z naught which will be equal to v plus plus v minus all over v plus minus v minus over here so from this we want to find out what the reflection coefficient will be that is the amount of signals that is going to be reflected back with respect to signals fed into the transmission line so let's see if we cross multiply we are going to have zl we're multiplying v plus minus v minus to be equal to z naught multiplying v plus plus v minus over here so if you multiply through by zl we are going to have zl v plus minus z l v minus which will be equal to z naught multiplying v plus plus z naught v minus over here so if you group like terms group all the v plus i'm going to have v l v plus minus this one that is z naught v plus which will be equal to i'm going to group also the v minus so i'll have z l v minus so if this one crosses the equals i'm going to have positive plus this one that is z naught v minus so i can take v plus out over here so i'll have z l minus z naught if i take minus v out i'll have v l plus z naught so from here and divide through this by v plus z naught plus z l so let me write this again over here that is v l minus z naught equal to v minus v l plus z naught so if i divide through this by v plus v plus plus z l let's see what will happen so v plus z naught plus z l v plus z naught plus z l so you see that this will cancel out this this will also cancel out this so i'm going to have v minus over v plus to be equal to v l minus z naught out of v l plus z naught from here and we represent this whole thing by this and this is a symbol for reflection coefficient so i can see that v 
minus over v plus is equal to this symbol over here that is reflection coefficient and it's the same as dl minus z naught out of zl plus z naught so this is how reflection coefficient formula was derived and the significance of this reflection coefficient is that it shows us how much reflection is going to happen or depending on the signals fed into the transmission line the amount of signals that will be reflected back thank you for watching